Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some juicy drama involving Offset and YSL co-founder YSL Mondo. Recently, Mondo made some bold claims about sliding into Cardi B's DMs, and Offset wasn't happy about it. Let's break down this drama and what it all means. Stick around. Over the weekend, YSL Mondo went live on social media, revealing that Offset called him out for messaging Cardi B. He said, quote, why you playing with a nigga? This back and forth started after Offset had a public dispute with Cardi, so tensions were already high. Mondo claimed he was just trying to be a friend to Cardi, telling her she needs a real nigga in her life. But here's where it gets messy. He admitted he was trolling and that his DM was sent months before Offset and Cardi's recent spat. Okay, we got another one that bites the dust. We got another one that just fell for the bait. Man, this bitch ass nigga just called my phone, man. Damn, bro, why you playing with a nigga? Hey, this on God, don't let me wake up tomorrow online. Well, lie, he will lie, he will lie. He, this nigga just offset, just called my phone. Bro, why you playing with a nigga, bro? Da -da -da -da. Hey, man, the truth hurt. You should have been on the internet with your business, my boy. Don't get mad because I'm posting shit on the internet now, but I'm speaking the truth. Now you mad at me. Don't go to call my phone, whole ass nigga. We ain't gonna do that, Tinder man. We ain't gonna do that. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? Don't get mad because I smacked one of your baby mama and I, and I tried to fuck Cardi. I ain't gonna say fuck her. I'm gonna take that back because ain't no disrespect to Cardi, but I really would just let her know, man, you need a real nigga in your life. Why you letting a nigga drag you through the mud? Like, don't go for that, baby. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I came in a deal. And you cop block because she went. You know what I'm saying? You cop block. Why you telling the butt Then Any bitch ass nigga have a nerve to say, bro, I don't even know you. But put this on your kids, boy. Put this on on your kid. You don't know me. When I first just when I first started talking to Shia, you, my boy, but you used to pillow talk, you used to throw salt and say all type of sucker sideways ass shit. But you been knowing me through long way, them. You been knowing me, and we ain't gonna speak on the street shit and, and the other shit. You know what going on, boy? When a nigga took your shit. In two miles, take a when slight right turn shit to march hood. onto I seventy five south. your bitch ass in my hood. Huh? Talk about that, buddy. Put that on your kids online, nigga. Upload that and talk about that, nigga. Put it on your kids, nigga. Put it on your soul, nigga. Then I'm lying, nigga. Nigga, who handled the business for you, goofy? But you don't know me? That's why you was in your feeling when I was fucking your baby mom. I didn't know she was your baby mom because you didn't claim she was your baby mom. You didn't claim your child. It's gonna, it gonna, it gonna be my last poll by Tim the man, man. It just, it just really tickled the fuck out of me. That buddy called my phone, which I know your sour, bitter ass baby mama gave you, gave you my number. But my boy, we ain't gonna make this into no beef about no, about no females. I'm not beefing with you about no. You always been trying to beef me about your baby mama. That when your girl, that was my, that was my real girl, nigga, for multiple years, nigga. Like we done been through shit together. But I lost all respect for her after she did some bogus shit. She know what she did. She, she burnt that too. Both y'all burnt. But uh, I ain't beefing with you about no hoe, my boy. I don't want to beef with you about no hoe, brother. We ain't gonna make that. If we gonna beef, let's beef. Don't make this about no bitch. You mad cause. You, your bitch don't want you no more, my boy. You going through some traumatic shit. You shouldn't put all your business on Instagram, brother, on the internet or wherever you Twitter or whatever. No, I ain't. It seems like he was just trying to stir the pot. The situation escalated as Offset and Mondo exchanged some heated words online. Mondo even threw shade at Offset regarding his relationship with his daughter, Kalia. Offset has yet to respond publicly, but the social media exchanges between Mondo and Offset's ex, Shia Lamour, have only added fuel to the fire. Shia accused Mondo of chasing clout and reminded him that Offset didn't claim her as the mother of his child until years later. Somebody please get a man some attention, some clout, whatever it is that he's seeking, because I, I guess I guess because Woody Payne is a does he trying to find any relevance that he can. Somebody please give him some paper. Give him a job. Get that a job. Put a, put a up in a warehouse somewhere. Got them. Do something. Do something other than talk about other people. How you want to talk about who or who pee or who tell but you, you speak on the next man relationship. You're a chase. You're, you just want attention, baby. That man not gonna give you no attention. That bitch not gonna give you no attention. You ain't got no paper. You don't got no money, baby. But you you bought me one bag the entire time that, that we was and I had to go in with you. You was mad that I was even trying to get you to get it from me. I had to put 500 on it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That 
sound crazy, right? Like, like, you running the six figures, but I can't get you to buy me a fifteen hundred dollar bag, and I just spent twenty plus racks on your attorney to save you from doing thirty years in jail. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you think you the catch? Ah, uh, boy, you is delusional. Perks got to make people delusional, dog. <laughs> Let's talk about go with a real one. But fuck with you ain't never bring nothing but L after 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 L. Bitch that fuck with you, gonna catch an L, gonna follow, find a whole little, little, tra little, little, little trail of L's coming behind you, baby. <laughs> Be real with yourself, dog. And, 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 and I hate this for you, because I really had real love for you, dog, and I really did, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I believe in you, you're a talented person, you just got a way of thinking, dog. Just work, put in the work, stop being lazy, bro. Put in work. This whole situation is not just about Cardi anymore. It's become a full-on feud. And let's not forget about Cardi. She recently confirmed some drama of her own with Offset. In a shocking tweet, she admitted to cheating while pregnant with their third child, which just adds another layer to this already complicated relationship. Cardi even leaked messages where Offset was trying to win her back, but she clearly told him, no, this is a messy situation for them both, especially with their child in the mix. So what do you think about Offset's confrontation with YSL Mondo? Is Mondo just trying to get attention? Or does he have a point about Cardi needing support? And how do you feel about Cardi and Offset's tumultuous relationship? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more celebrity drama updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Red Carpet Reup.